For the next project we're going to still be working in Adobe Spark, but on this project we're going to actually be creating some YouTube channel art for this for this hypothetical person. And this is a tutorial, so you want to follow along with, this, with exactly with what I'm doing. It might not be perfect, like the color might be off or something like that, but it's very close. I want you to stay all the exactly. So this, as we're creating a channel for maybe this person Emily that has like a channel where they're working with fabrics and you know, this and things. So this is what we're going to be doing as an example. So move that over here. So we're going to go to our Canvas homepage and you can actually get to assignments. You can get to it through a, a to-do list. I like the calendar view. So just so you have all these classes unchecked, just at A1. So we're assigning the 16th. It's due on the mon Monday, which is the 19th. So we can click on this link here takes it to that uh, assignment. This is just basically the um, example, exactly what I showed you before. And this is basically just a login to Adobe Spark. So you sign in, of course, with Google. You want to use your personal account or your enterprise or school account. I'm not sure however you sign up with your school account. Then you want to click on the plus sign. You want to add a flyer. Now what's great about Adobe Spark is it actually has a lot of sizes already built into it. So we're going to do just like last time, resize and use the exact same size. So we're going to go down to, to YouTube channel art. So this 2560 by 1440, that's the exact size that you need to when you're uploading your YouTube channel. And this is the exact size here. Now we're going to go to uh, colors. Now we're going to choose the second one here. Uh, we'll modify it a little bit. You know, you can shuffle it to the lightest color. Yeah. Um, then we're actually going to add some text. So we're start from scratch. Now this is a lowercase. It's going to be kind of fun font. So fonts are very important because they kind of illustrate your message. So it should be a font, lowercase font um, with uh, it could be kind of fun and creative. Emily. Okay. So that's it. Done. Now this is a. Uh, oh, we're gonna change the shape first. You know, maybe we'll change the font. I'm sorry, the font, the font. So when you go to the font, uh, line spacing. Leave it at like 75 is fine. And then, uh, you know, all this kind of good stuff. You know, the size, whatever size comes in. We'll change it later. So make sure the font needs to be, uh, you need to make sure it, I have done this before, so the V-A-R-I-E-X-O-T. So if that's not showing, you want to choose Adobe Fonts, and you want to take, go to Adobe Fonts. I didn't really do anything there, so it should automatically log you in, okay? And so we're going to search for that V-A-R-I-E-X, and it's going to come up here. Now we want to go on to the OT, regular, and so that's already been activated, right? On mine, if it's not active, you want to make it active, okay? So now we're going to go back to Adobe Spark, should show up there, and we're going to choose that font here. Now we're going to go to our shape here. We want to go down to the just a solid square. Why did you... Hmm... That's your ear. Oh, the padding needs to be down. Let's do this part, yeah. Yeah. Mm, I'm just checking some things here for stuff. Okay. Yeah, so it should look similar to this, right? So we're going to make it a little bit larger here. So make our size a little larger. So make the size like about like maybe 150. Yeah, about 150 looks right. Okay, now what you want to do is actually is it lines up right in the middle. So you got this line, you got that line, it makes it in the middle there. So now we're going to choose the color of that. So we want to choose a color. 
Um, so we should have actually, um, let's see, let's see, it should be one of these colors here. So I'll click on that, the color here. For some reason it changed, but we're going to choose uh, this blue, and it should be a red background, basically. And then we're going to change the color here, and this should be white. Okay. Now, this background, you know, if I just click on the background, we're going to change that to white as well. Okay, so this is white background with a white text, okay. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to be clicking the gray right here to and select that. Now we're going to be adding some icons. You know, if I go back to the example here, now we're just going to grab some different crafts icons, you know, um, and so you actually want to grab these same ones, okay? So we're going to go back to the Spark. Now we're going to grab these icons. So we might just be grabbing a bunch of these. Um, so I think what the first one is, uh, scissors or something like that. So uh, we want to grab a fonts that are not really bold. We want to be kind of like the outline fonts, you know, the kind of playful and fun. So let's find a font that's kind of like outline. Look. So it looks like um, let's see here. Uh, like scissors that look outline. Yeah, I'm going down there for a while. I know I'm going down. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Now, what you want to do is actually, now you want to, I'm going to put that over here in the corner. We don't worry about that later. So we want to grab all the icons first. And then we can actually, then um, we want to grab a button. And like I said before, these are not solid. Like, you don't want a solid font. Or a solid icon you want kind of like a outline font like this one looks good here okay so you want to find it's again my example is not exactly like so you know it's not exactly my but you want to have some outline fonts outline icons I'm sorry of like a scissors so this one is not exactly the same but it's very it's still outline okay so we're actually just going to grab the fonts, uh, grab the different icons. We'll change them later. Okay. So we're going to grab the next icon. And I guess this is, um, it's a glimmer. This is, I did this before and found that it's called glimmer. It is this one right here. Now it looks good. It's just a little, I thought it was under star, but it's actually under glimmer is a better word. Because it's kind of like you're searching for it, so you have to find the right keyword. Um, we want to find a, a clothespin as well. Um, we want to go on here to find oh this clothespin. There, that's the one we wanted. Okay. And again, this I want you to find these. Pretty much ex exactly identical. Find things that are very similar to this. Um, that's fine. I think we have closed pin as well again, but we found this one, which is similar. So it's got these closed pins and like the shirt is hanging down. And so right now they're all the same color, but that's fine. We'll change them in a minute. So the next icon be a thimble. Yeah. So we want to choose the one that's kind of crooked a little bit. We're going to make that smaller. So we're getting all the different uh, images, icons we want first. And then we're just doing, um, this will be a sewing machine. Okay. Time. okay. And again, we don't want a really strong, like bold one here. We want kind of like a more of an outline font, outline. And so it's just like this, you know, it's just kind of an outline. It should be like, so it's not like super strong. It's like a outline. So yeah, well, your images should actually work together. Okay. So 
technically, if you were designing this, so the thickness of this line and this line are different, so you would like it to have it be about the same. But and this one's a little thinner, but you know, not, don't worry about that right now. Okay. So we're going to Adobe Spark, which you can't change those things, but it, for a designer, those things would be nice to be able to change. Anyway, so sewing machine, find a different one. So like maybe a you have a yarn or something like that. Uh, so we're going to find a ball of yarn here. Then we're going to go to the next one. And this one should be a little smaller. Yeah. Um, if I add another icon, it's a yarn. Let's go to end like a like a like a like a spool of of the yarn here. So let's go and find something that's like uh yeah, like this one right here. That looks good. It's not the exact one. It's just it's just uh, lines that represent that the symbol there. Okay. So now we have all these ones. I think that should have got. Oh, we want to actually grab one more. So we want to grab a fabric, right? Since they are working with clothing and working fabric, so we're going to grab this kind of fabric here. Okay. So now we have all the icons we want. Now we want to um, just make that the right size, and we're going to have like color in them. So I think I had to put this one down here. The clothespin is a little bit was about here. The button was about right here. This uh, can be a little smaller, about right here. This guy right up here. Let's see. And there, oh, it's a little bit larger, maybe. And the close pin and then that, and that thimble. Maybe that's over here. I'm trying to put these kind of in the area where I had them on the example. To not confuse you before. Okay, so now we're actually going to make those. We have to get all the right images. Now we want to actually make the right colors there. So we're going to grab here. Now this one on the example was kind of like a bluish color. So we're going to grab the color here. And I think we want to make this light blue. So that's that color color. So this one here needs to be kind of like a purple, a light purple. So yeah, like this uh, light purple here. This one needs to be uh, this green color, green. Uh, the, the little glimmer here, which is like it's a little yellow. Um, sorry, that's the background. So I'll leave the background kind of white. So this one should be like this goldish color. Um, the thimble and the, the clothespin, we say it's like kind of a grayish color. And it should be like a gray down here. Same thing with this color here. It's like this uh, gray. Go up here to gray. And the scissors, I think I was made it like this blue color. And then the yarn was the green color as well. Okay. Oh, and then the, the sewing machine was this yellow color. So we've got these are our main colors we're using like this uh, bluish, light blue. This. Uh, this red is what I use for like the background here. The gray, the, the light pink, and the green. Okay, so we have those very consistent colors. That's our color palette. So it should be nice colors that are kind of like, and so we kind of created that color palette, okay, from different things. Okay, so this is your, basically your end product here. And so it's a very simple kind of uh, YouTube channel art. So now you want to click download. And you're going to choose JPEG or PNG, of course, any one of those. And you'll click Start Download. And you would choose a solid color. Solid color. And then you'll see a My Post. And you actually go back to this Adobe Spark. Then you want to click Upload uh, from a file. And then you want to go and find your My Post thing. Okay. So that should finish uh, this assignment.